Right friends, welcome back to third module. This is a recap on current affairs in view of IBPS PO exam on 31st October. Look at the first question. Master city, which is uh, tipped to be the first city based entirely on renewable energy is uh, near Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. This master city is situated near Abu Dhabi in United Arab Emirates and uh, it is tipped to be the first city entirely based on renewable energy right and uh, look at the next one rpi's uh, monetary policy is based on reserve bank of india's uh, monetary policy is uh, targeted at consumer price index based inflation cpa inflation is the benchmark for rpi's monetary policy look at the next one japan came forward to assist india in the first bullet train project certain things i would like to tell you Tipped to be the first bullet train project, this Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project will have 505 kilometers. Second thing is the expenditure is expected to be 15 billion dollars. Feasibility study is done by Japan. Now Japan came forward to assist India with a loan of less than 1% interest rate. So, Japan came forward to build India's first bullet train project between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Second important point is the present running time between Mumbai and Ahmedabad is 6 and half to 7 hours. It will be reduced to 2 hours once this bullet train project comes through. right? And they imposed several other conditions. But anyhow, Japan came forward to finance the first bullet train project of India. At present, special category states in India are 11 states are there, 7 sisters of the Northeast plus Sikkim, then 3 states Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand of northern part of the country. So, 11 states are at present enjoying special category status in our country. Four civil society organizations together got Nobel Peace Prize. This Nobel Peace Prize was won by four civil society organizations which are responsible for ensuring peace in Tunisia. Tunisia is a North African country and they got the award for democratic transition after the Jasmine revolution. This uh, Jasmine revolution or the first Arab Spring occurred in Tunisia in the year 2010 December and 2011 January. And subsequently, these four organizations are responsible for ensuring peace in the country. That is why they were awarded Nobel Peace Prize. And uh, please do not forget, Nobel Peace Prize is presented in Oslo, Norway and remaining five prizes are presented in Sweden. And one more important point is Nobel Economics Prize was started by the Swedish Central Bank in the year 1968 in view of the completion of 300th anniversary of Swedish Central Bank and it is the oldest central bank in the world. Look at the next one, name the country which holds maximum refugees from Syria due to civil war. Maximum refugees due to civil war are being sheltered by Turkey, right? Turkey is adjacent country to Syria, almost 4 million people left country of Syria and they are staying in the adjacent countries as refugees. Nowadays, several of these refugees are going towards Europe, right? Unification of Germany completed 25 years. Germany was separated into West Germany and East Germany in the year 1945. Subsequently got united on October 3, 1990 and on October 3, reunification of Germany completed 25 years. FIU is under the Ministry of Finance. FIU is Financial Intelligence Unit which looks at the suspicious financial transactions and this is under the Ministry of Finance and please do not forget other organization that is SFIO which is the Serious Fraud Investigation Office that is under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs that looks at the serious corporate frauds in the country. But this FIO looks at 
suspicious financial transactions. AstroSat is the first space observatory launched by India. ISRO recently launched it. AstroSat will be the first space observatory. The advantage of space observatory is without atmosphere, they can view various distant stars under multi wavelengths, right? And Hubble is one such space observatory which was launched in the year 1990 by NASA. Right. So, India has got its first space observatory in the form of AstroSat. New Horizons spacecraft, it is basically to look at Pluto and its moons. This was launched by United States of America's NASA. So, New Horizons spacecraft is to explore Pluto and its moons and at the same time please do not forget a Rosetta mission of European Space Agency is to explore comets. Right. India recently signed multilateral competent authority agreement. This multilateral competent authority agreement, more than 90 countries committed for it. Around 60 countries already signed it. It is piloted by OECD. OECD is Paris based organization and this is to be implemented from 2017. That means, from 2017, these countries will have automatic exchange of information. From 2017 onwards, these signatories will have automatic exchange of information. Then subsequently, black money can be curbed in the world. Look at the next one, FATCA. This is Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. Recently, India signed it with the United States of America. India recently signed FATCA with the United States of America. The main purpose of FATCA is for exchange of tax matters. That means, United States of America persons cannot evade tax in our country and the Indian citizens staying in United States of America or the Indian citizens investing in United States of America. Then, with regard to the tax matters, there will be free flow of information between United States of America and India. RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, this is uh, the trade block, it is yet to be signed. It is the proposed trade block of 16 countries being piloted by China and please do not forget Trans-Pacific Partnership is the grouping of 12 countries being piloted by United States of America. So, TPP will have 12 countries and RCEP will have 16 countries. Vivek Debray committee gave its report on the functioning of Indian Railways and at the same time please do not forget. Kayakalp committee was also established by the Indian Railways and Ratan Tata is the chairman of Kayakalp committee. For Indian Railways, Life Insurance Corporation of India is giving a loan of 1,50,000 crores spread over a period of 5 years. So, every year around 30,000 crores will be given by Life Insurance Corporation of India, making a total of 1,50,000 crores of rupees over the next 5 years and the interest rate will be packed to the interest rate on government securities. And there are several clauses like the Indian Railways need not pay for the first 5 years that is moratorium and other conditions are also there which you can term the loan as somewhat on softer terms. BCAM corridor, BCAM corridor is basically Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar. It connects Kolkata in India with Kunming in China. right? Calcutta to Kunming, this is a BCIM corridor. Once this comes through, northeastern states in India will be benefited. Not only that, Bangladesh, Myanmar will also be benefited a lot, right? Tapi pipeline, Tapi pipeline connects Turkmenistan with India. 
passes through Afghanistan and Pakistan, somehow it is not taking off on the expected lines. Motor vehicle agreement was signed recently. Four of the eight SARC countries were signatories to this motor vehicle agreement. The four countries are Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh and India. India, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh, these four countries signed the motor vehicle agreement and once this comes through, probably within a year, then you can travel across the four countries, right? Third India-Africa Forum Summit, this is being taking place in the capital of India, that is New Delhi. This is the third India-Africa Forum Summit, 54 countries are participating. The second point is this is the third summit. First summit was held in New Delhi in 2008. Second one is held in Addis Ababa in 2011. This is the third summit and two countries UAE and Singapore are going to be the observers of this. 54 African countries are participating and most of them are headed by the prime ministers or presidents. There are 17 SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals and 169 Associated Targets and these are going to be implemented from 1st January 2016 over a period of 15 years up to 2030. 7th BRICS Summit was held in Ofa, Russia and Look at the next one for house loans of rupees 20 lakh to 30 lakh range, loan to value ratio was raised to 90 percent. So, for house loans up to 30 lakhs of rupees, banks can give house loans up to 90 percent of the value. And if the loan is more than 30 lakhs, up to 75 lakhs, then banks can give. 80% of the value of the house, that is LTV is 80%. And if the loan is more than 75 lakh value, LTV ratio will be 75%. And please don't forget, up to 30 lakhs, LTV is 90%. That means, you will get 90% of the value of the house as a loan from banks. From January 2015 to October 2015, Reserve Bank of India altogether four times reduced repo rate by 125 basis points or 1.25 percent and at present the repo rate stands at 6.75 percent, reverse repo at 5.75 percent. In ease of doing business index 2015, India stands at 142nd position whereas Singapore is at the topmost position. Jaitapur nuclear power plant is going to come up in the west coast of Maharashtra and this will be constructed with the assistance of France. And at the same time, please don't forget, Kodankulam nuclear power station is being constructed with the assistance of Russia, right? So, with this, let us conclude module number 3. Please do join for module number 4. Have a nice day. Thank you.